can't get through these roadworks. <laughs> Never ends in roadworks. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen it like this. Not for years. Have you? Hello and welcome back to the channel and welcome to Manchester Airport. It's an exciting day today. Dean and I are going to Disneyland Paris. So, <laughs> you can buy some when you're there, it'll be fine. So we're flying from Manchester to Paris and then getting the train to Disneyland. It's Wednesday the 9th, is it the 9th? Yeah. And we're, here, we're going until Sunday. So just a little four day break. We're not going into the Disney parks today. We're not going to get there till evening time. And then we're going to hit the ground running tomorrow morning with four days in Disneyland. We might make the trip into Paris City Centre. We're not sure yet. Just seeing how we feel and seeing how things go. But we will be there just in time for all the Christmas celebrations, the decades will be up, the Christmas parade, everything else. So if you would like to see our Disney content, then please do subscribe to the channel. My name's Kat, this is my partner Dean. If you are new around here, we have done a little series in Disneyland in California back in May. And now we're headed back to Disneyland Paris, back to the magic, our local Disney resort. Are you excited? Always. <laughs> Dean forgot his toothbrush. Tried to pay three Why quid did, for, for Why one. Why didn't you get a good one, like a Colgate one? That was the cheapest one. The Colgate one's like five quid. That was two ninety nine. I'm not being a cheapskate, but when I've got one at home, you know what I mean? <laughs> so Dean's got his airport bevy and he's been to Boots. I'm going to go and have a little look, see if there's any sandwiches or anything there to take my fancy. How much was your drink, Dean? And you've learned that it's flat. It's very flat, so it's like, no hairs on it, there's no bubbles. So he's paid £5 for a flat beer. It's my chest of air balls, it's not so. But your coronation chicken wrap looks nice. It's alright. Not bad. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go and have a little look in at Duty Free and pick up a powder from Laura Mercier that I need to replace because mine's run out. And then I'm going to go and have a little mooch in Boots to if there's any food. I'm not going to order any food from in here. We've got drinks from in here so we can sit here, but the food is expensive and not that great from last time. Ooh, I could go to Upper Crust. I like an Upper Crust. They do really good baguettes. Maybe an Upper Crust. Um, but yes, the airport is Wednesday afternoon. We fly at 20 past 2 in the afternoon. We got here at 12 ish. By the time we parked and walked over, because we parked at T3 and walked to T1, by the time we parked and moved o uh, walked over, it was about 12 ish. And the airport's very, very quiet. Uh, this time, we were the ones that had paid for fast track when we didn't need to. There was absolutely no queue in fast track or in security in general. Uh, so, yeah, midweek flying is the one. I could get used to this. Normally we fly weekends because it just saves using holiday days from work, but Wednesday afternoon in Manchester Airport is bliss <laughs> compared to a Saturday or a Sunday. Yes, I need to replace my Laura Mercier 
face powder I ran out of it so um, I'm going to buy some of that in duty free hopefully save myself a little bit of money I've left him drinking a pint back at the pub and then I'm going to nip to boots I'm not having much luck. They don't have a Laura Mercier stand in this duty free, and Mac also don't have. They do sell a loose setting powder, which is what I'm after, but they don't have any here. So I might just run to Boots, but they're playing Christmas songs. I guess we'd better get used to it because it's to me Christmas at Disney already. But it's just a bit funny. First Christmas songs of the year. That Coldplay doesn't really feel like Christmas, and then now it's Justin Bieber. I can understand it at Disney, but this feels a bit soon to have it on in Manchester Airport. A little bit. Well, I did decide to go for an off crust. Ham and cheese, baguette, and then I also went to Boots, got some crisps drink. Big litre of small water, ready for the flight. Yo, too, Dean. Playing me geeky game. <laughs> the uh, duty free is playing Christmas songs if you want to go and get in the mood. I'll wait till Tiffany on. No, as nice as their coronation chicken one that they do. I was hoping they'd have that, but they didn't. But it's still nice. That baguette is making me realise just how hungry I am. I've been quite poorly the past couple of days. Yesterday I was really poorly. And I had no appetite or anything. Um, so I haven't eaten. And I saw Dean's wrap and I was like, oh yeah, I'm hungry now. But this baguette spot when you've not eaten for a couple of days it's, it's hitting the spot but yeah we nearly we nearly either postponed this flight or cancelled it altogether because i was really quite ill yesterday and we didn't think i would be bored in any plane put it that way but i seem to have made a bit of a miraculous recovery overnight feeling much better today luckily and we're not doing any theme parks or anything we're just getting the plane getting to disney so it's not too much to ask today and hopefully, hopefully my body will have got on top of whatever bug I've got by tomorrow. But I am feeling, I wouldn't be flying if I was still the way I was yesterday. So I am, I feel like I'm over the hurdle of it. And Dean's been fine, not past it's Dean, just me. <laughs> Dean does have a very good immune system, but I don't think it's very contagious because you'd think he would have caught it. large pre-purchase come bags here, then lockers, smaller bags and other items now placed under the seat in front of you. 
if you are sat in the emergency exit row, which is rows 1, 12 and 13, we kindly ask you now to place all of your items into the overhead locker. Are you excited? All boarded. Now is when the holiday begins. We haven't flown with EasyJet for years, have we? Last time was Tony. When? Last time we were in Tony. No, we flew Ryanair. Definitely flew Ryanair. Yeah, not flown with EasyJet for ages. Oh, no. Is it? Yeah. Interesting. Wonder where that's to. There was a little bit of a wait at the security desks. Obviously we can't use the EU passport gates anymore so we had to wait for actual officers to stamp us in. There was only two working obviously uh, a couple of full flights. So it took us a little while but it does mean that our case was waiting for us as we got off and Dean's just ran the loo and he's coming back now. So we are staying in a Disney affiliated hotel, not a Disney hotel, it's called the B&B. We're going to get the train from the airport to Disneyland. Oh, I knew that, 
transport. Yeah. And then ten minute gym. A shuttle bus from Disneyland to the hotel. So let's get to the train station. Ah, I'm so excited to be here. I hope we don't end up in Marseille. I've got a plan out for me head. Yeah, please but... don't take us to Marseille. Oh, nice ends up in Germany, isn't it? Yeah, no, please don't take us to Marseille. Well, we arrived at the train station. Our train was booked for 10 to 7, was it Dean? Yeah, 6.47. And we got to the train station about half 5, so we were an hour and 15 minutes early. We asked someone, can we use our later train ticket for an earlier train that was leaving? They said yes, no problem, in bad English. And then when we tried to use it, he said, no, you can't use it. Again, in bad English, I don't think he was understanding what we were asking. So we were a bit defeated, we came and found somewhere to sit down and then Dean messed around with the booking and he managed to modify it. So we could have got on that train and just modified the ticket but hey ho, he's modified it for a 20 past 6 train and it's now 6 o'clock so only 20 minutes until that, that train. It's just not a very pleasant place to wait is it? It's very busy. Yeah, and it's rush hour so it's, it's busy and it's underground and we obviously would have waited the hour, hour and 15, but just a bit frustrating that one person says yes, the other person says no, and all we had to do was go on the app and, and modify the train that we had booked. Lesson learned, we know for next time, Dean. <laughs> I'd also like to point out that this train is 38 euros for the tour bus, and it's a 10 minute train. 38 euros! But an Uber was like 90 odd, so we are making a saving. And it's not as quick as 10 minutes in an Uber. It's a longer journey than that. It must be a high speed train or something. So hey ho, take two. Back down the escalator as we go. Trains definitely an upgrade to misery rail, aren't they? Look at these snazzy headrests and stuff. Are you sure we are in the first class? They were all like this. 
It doesn't say anywhere on it as far as I could see, first part. Turns out that was first class, did not it? I knew it was too funky. To be fair, the whole train does look swanky though. Posh, French. It's a tail switch over. This is my seat, please. That's not how she spoke. She spoke in French and we were like, sorry, don't speak French. Um, and she was trying to say it in English, but um, we got the gist was that she reserved that seat. Although there were no seat numbers, so I don't know how she knew that. Anyway, it's a 10 minute train, so we've sat in the little fold down chairs by the luggage. <laughs> it's fine, we can guard our suitcases, no big deal. And just like that, we are in the Disney Village. Little 10 minute train from the airport. We've got Planet Hollywood behind us. Exciting, I think we're just gonna jump on the shuttle to the hotel. Um, then maybe see how we feel about maybe coming back to and getting something to eat. Yeah. Cause this is gonna be the nearest place for us to get things to eat, so. But we need to get rid of suitcases and stuff. I'm very tempted to go and look in World of Disney, obviously. Well, we can't find which is the correct shuttle bus for us to get on. All the other hotels are listed, but ours is not. And it definitely says on booking.com that our hotel has a free shuttle service to and from the parks. And it tells us where you get it from, it tells get it from the front of the hotel, but it doesn't say like how do you get it back? Like what number of bus are we getting on? So to save us running the risk of getting on the wrong bus we're just gonna get a taxi and then figure it out when we get to the hotel which bit bus number we're supposed to be on all fun and games for sale in the reception and the only one out of them I would go for is maybe to get Avengers campus I know I want to get a picture like that it's of the drones doing the 30 isn't it just one of the reasons that I wanted to bring my proper camera. Oh Dean, there's your bunker there. <laughs> okay, well here we are in our room. It has got a little bit complicated because Dee and I originally booked our flights Thursday to Sunday and we were going to get a really early morning flight tomorrow morning. And then we both realised that we could both be off. I managed to book the Wednesday today off and we could change our flights for free. Um, so we swapped our flights to sort of Wednesday in the day, get here in the evening, have a chill, and then we can wake up tomorrow just ready to get straight into the parks rather than obviously like a 6 a.m. flight, getting here, getting to the hotel, checking in, getting back to the parks. You kind of losing at least half a day there. So, and then you're feeling tired as well on your first day. So we just thought we'd get here tonight. So the, we then had to, we booked the original package through the Disneyland website. And then we just thought, oh, we'll go on booking.com and book an extra night in this hotel. But it does mean that we have to move rooms in the morning. With no big deal. We can just leave our luggage with them and then pick it up in the evening and move into our new room. But for tonight, they've booked us, we booked a double room and they've upgraded us into a room for five people. So 
There are a lot of beds in here. It feels like I'm in a dormitory. Does it? Does it you? <laughs> so I'll just show you the room dead quick. So there's obviously door bed. I think I'm going to nominate Dean to sleep on this uh, top bunk. Bunk beds and then another single bed over there. So obviously ideal for a family of five, but we don't need all this space. Then we've got a little vanity area. It's really simple, plain, not much going on, quite echoey to be fair. But it is only a two star, two star hotel. I mean, when you want to stay in a Disney affiliated hotel, you know, if you want to keep within a low budget, you go into say goodbye to some luxuries. But this will do us. We're going to hardly be in the room. So what does it? And it's got free breakfast as well. Yeah, free breakfast, so we can fill up before we go to the parks. It's got everything that we possibly could need. So there we have it. You can see the games room flashing away to in that window. <laughs> so I think the plan now is to get the free shuttle. We did get an Uber. Word of warning, that train station where all the free shuttles run from is very confusing unless you're in sort of a specific... There's the Disney hotels, obviously, that say Disney at the start of them or some of the other affiliated ones. I don't know whether this is quite new and that's why maybe they don't have any signs for what bus we were meant to get on. We could not figure out what bus we were meant to be getting on. Now, when I've been before with my friends and we stayed in the Radisson Blue, there was a bus stop that said Radisson Blue and I could see that bus stop there. I was like, that's the one that we used for that hotel. Like it was dead easy to find. This one, we were asking people, like Disney staff, they were just blowing us off going, yeah, the free shuttles run from over there. And I was like, yes, but which stop? <laughs> Cause we don't know which one we're getting on. No one was very helpful at all, except for one French lady who really tried to help us. but. Then we waited for a taxi. That taxi driver quoted us 20 euros. And I was like, no. And he was he was rude to us. He was like, get the free shuttle then. And I was like, we don't know what one we're getting on. He was like, well, do you want this taxi or not? And I was like, no, no, I don't. Not for 20 euros, because I knew that was overpriced. So we went on Uber. And Uber charged us eight. So word of warning, those taxi drivers will see tourists and think that they're quids in. Because they wanted 20 euros for like, a, was it a five minute drive? Five minutes, if that. Um, and I knew 20 euros was overpriced. That's why I've, I'd like argued with him a bit. I was like, that's expensive. And he was like, get the free shuttle then. <laughs> Rude. Rude. That's not going to get me into your taxi if you're going to be like that. They're not, it's not Disney staff that work there. Does that make sense? It's just a public train station. But there, there is Disney shuttles that are stopping at the bus stops. So I don't know. Just more people to sort of help and better signs as to what bus because at the, at the desk the lady was like yeah you get on Q, stop Q, bus stop Q is where the bus to this hotel will stop for you so yeah that was not a very fun little hour really trying to figure out how to get here we thought it'd be nice and easy and it wasn't but yeah we're gonna head back now that we know what bus we're getting on we're gonna head back in that direction find something to eat soak up some of the Disney atmosphere and then maybe get an early night although what time is it half seven Half seven. As long as we're back here by ten. Yeah? Yeah, let's do it that. That's the one. Well, that is us all through security and into the Disney village. I did put on my Disneyland spirit jersey. It's a little bit chilly this evening. It's so funny seeing Planet Hollywood, isn't it? Doesn't it make you feel like you're in Disney Springs? Yeah. <laughs> so happy to be back amongst the Disney magic. The 
use it of the 30th years. What are we thinking? Yeah, they're all right. That's what I'm thinking. They're all right. They're not like. I kind of wanted some Christmas ones, Dean. That's what I was after. Some Christmas ones. I do quite like these ears. But I do already have black and gold ones from Disneyland Paris. Gold ears, black bow as well. It's just that the bow has just got gold dots on instead of this little tink, tink castle situation. So they are two similar to ones I already have. These ones I also already have. These are a bit different to anything I've got. And they're the OGs. The original ones. I was really hoping for like some gingerbread men ones or something. Are the Christmassy ears. I'm not a big fan. They're just not like super cute. I don't know. I want to see them in Disney World where they've got the little ginger Mickey gingerbreads as the ears. They're just not as good. And these, these are just antlers. They're not. They're meant to be Pluto. Yeah, yeah, Pluto, aren't they? I do quite like the Christmassy spirit jersey. It's like a cross between a jumper and a spirit jersey. It says Disneyland Paris on the back. I do quite like that. I like the back. Now, see, this is what I mean though. They normally have the gingerbread ears. Well, I guess someone like a different shop. Well, we've ended up in Planet Hollywood. It definitely wouldn't be our first choice, but Disney Village is definitely lacking in the food department, isn't it? So, we've ended up here just for ease. We've both got a burger. It wouldn't be our fish, it's very expensive. I, got, I wanted fajitas, I was like, oh, fajitas, 30 euros for some fajitas. For some chicken and some wraps and guacamole, 30 euros. So, the burger was cheaper. It's all right, isn't it? But it was not, how much was it? 20 euros? It was not 19 pounds worth no. of burger. No, because I mean, one of the three pounds. Absolutely not. 19 euros for a blooming cheeseburger. And the fries, the waffle, they were half French fries, half waffle fries, weren't they? They just, they just weren't. They weren't crispy and fluffy on the inside. They were just a bit soggy, weren't they? And just. I wouldn't, I wouldn't complain if that was reasonably priced. Ten, ten less euros would be alright. Yeah, ten euros I'd pay for that quite happily. But for twenty odd, twenty one euros I think it was that burger. It should be like top notch, and it's not. We were saying that we feel like Planet Hollywood is kind of like a cheap. It's not cheap, but feels like a cheap knockoff of Hard Rock. It's like there were memorabilia around the place and like the music blurring away, but it doesn't quite hit the spot like a Hard Rock does, does it? It's like a level below. A level below? I'd say three levels below. 
At least you can get good food at Hard Rock. Like it's it's expensive. But it is not 19 euros for a burger at Hard Rock for one thing. Yeah, just as the parks let out. It's not too bad though, we didn't wait for a table. So yes, we're gonna head back to the hotel now I think and get a good night's sleep. Ready for tomorrow. actually being stupid when we couldn't find our uh, shuttle bus so we know that we need to board at Q so this says that P goes to the Radisson Blue, Stay City, Airport, all this other one, Q doesn't tell you where that bus is going or that one even stops there so how are we supposed to have known that we were getting on at Q? No wonder we couldn't find it just weird, weird. Like why? It is a Disney affiliated hotel. It has a Disney shuttle. Why not have what what thing we're meant to get on to get to it? Okay, well we are back in our hotel room. So I am going to end today's little travel vlog here. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you're excited for some Disneyland Paris content over the next few days. So yes, if you did enjoy our little travel day, then please do hit the thumbs up. It really does help the channel out. Subscribe if you want to see all of our future content, including our Disneyland Paris vlogs from over the next few days. We also do other travel vlogs. We're currently in the process of doing a Canada series. Well, I've been, we've been to Canada. I'm in the process of editing those vlogs. So do subscribe if you want to see those and we will see you tomorrow. Good night guys.